I love the story of how your collection started. Yeah. Okay. I'm Ross Aldridge, and my twin brother is Rod Aldridge, and he can tell the story. Yeah. Um, many years ago, in the early 70s, my mum's sister was an artist painting around Corrion, and we used to go to art shows and follow her work, and we have a couple of her works, and then all of a sudden, I was unemployed and I was digging trenches at a local artist by the name of Colin Angus and I brought, went in and brought one and held it until my mum and dad's 33rd wedding anniversary which is on Anzac Day and it turned out that my mum died of bowel cancer but we brought the painting and then the collection just started to grow. That was in 1976. Incredible story, I absolutely love it. And how did you get caught up in it? Uh, in I, I, I just tag along what it goes. We still both live in the same house. Yeah, and we live together. We're very, not married, no children, but we do have a sister that lives in Melbourne. I think she can't wait for us to die so she can sell them all off in one day. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so how big is the, how big is every inch of the of your house covered in art? Pretty well, yeah. 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 We've got ten foot ceilings and we have four and five deep all the way around. Four and five deep all the way around, so it became an obsession, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. although there was none in the toilet and wash house, but in yeah. the bathroom. <laughs> um, we've talked to many accountants and important people, and they say, it is a hobby to us, there is no tax or anything like that charged to you, it's just a hobby that we do. Mm. Uh, is, is that a good story, that one? I love your story, yeah. and I just cannot believe... So now you're saying you've had the collection valued, and it's yeah. worth, what, $4.3 million? Yeah. And it started from one painting digging trenches because you were... That is correct. Because yeah. you were unemployed and had a bit of a payout and thought, oh, well, <laughs> I'm going to buy something for Mum and Dad's wedding That's anniversary. Right, yeah. Did they keep it? Did they keep the artwork? Oh, yeah, 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 it's just yeah, on the <laughs> <laughs> So do you move, I want, I'm quite interested in how you live with that much art. Do you, do you um, uh, mo move them around? No, or? because it, as you realise, all paintings are different sizes. Of paintings. course. And once it's on the wall, it's it stays on the wall. It stays <laughs> there. <laughs> what about the ones that you can't fit on the wall? And sort They're of, all in racks. They're in much racks. more in racks. Yeah. Okay. We have, we have a spare room and it's all storage in racks. And, and also tell me a little bit about your charity work. So you were saying that uh, you yeah. loan them out and then you, you yeah, know, charge uh, people. We have lots of exhibitions around Wangaratta at the Ac Wangaratta Exhibitions Gallery. They're, they're very popular, but our main one where we do is Bright Art Gallery and we raise money for Bright and charitable organisations like our... Um, one, one we raised um, raise about $1,900 and they bought a new computer put um, handrails in. Hand rails in and put yeah. a, 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 what is it? A wheelchair ramp in, just things like that to yeah. help the galleries out. Yeah. And I, you're a bit of a Rover Thomas fan. When you came in, you were pretty full, pretty excited about seeing a Rover Thomas. Talk to me about your understanding of some of the Rover Thomases uh, and the Jack Britons and those yeah, uh, great artists. Ken Knight in Gosford, because we have 34 Ken Knight paintings, mm. and his nickname is Ken Street Knight. He's got a massive collection of paintings, and we, we like going up there and looking at Rover Thomas because it's totally different to the Western desert art, which we normally mm. buy. As I mentioned a few names before, like the Kamaris and Abbey Loy. And, and, and so, so when we walked into that road shop, and I said, oh, we knew damn well it was Robert Thomas country. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so many of your paintings here are like Robert Thomas's. That's how we recognise his work yeah. straight away. Well, you know, Warman artists are recognised nationally and internationally for their connection to country. Yeah. The crushing of the ochre, mm. the telling of the, the... A lot of those, a lot of it is about country and the moving through country. It's a very harsh, yeah. harsh environment to live, so... The, the, the Dreamtime stories are quite different. Yeah, we yeah. have Lofty Bedale, you've probably mm. heard of him, and we've got Joshua Bangars and Ivan Namanooks in the Ochres. In yeah. the Ochre, Ochre Field, yeah. yeah. So they're, they're top names. 
Were the, were the work you bought very ochre rich in, in the Warman tradition? The Rosalind Park work that you, yeah. you know, like from yeah. the Roadhouse? Yeah. 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 So I, I like the way um, we actually watched, they had painted, they went out to the front of a gallery in Humpty Doo and pulled the weed out and just threaded it really, dipped it in oak and just went like that. And I said, boy, if I did that, I'd smudge it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It takes a very delicate hand to work with oak, okay? yeah, yeah. Because you can't yeah. make any mistakes. That's, mm. I think that's the issue. Yeah, cause as Robert Wade, a friend of ours, is a top watercolour, you need a strong right hand. That's to tear them up. Tear them up. All that tear, whatever you use. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, in a final note, what do you say to anybody who's just starting out an art collection? How Do should... a lot of research, yeah. and the best friend is click on galleries on the website and see what they've got to offer and go to the library and get books to read on. So you must be quite the local art celebrities. Are people knocking on your house to have a look uh, in there? Yeah, they knocking don't. on the door? They do a bit, but more people come around to us and want to value paintings and stuff. And, and some of them aren't really good. We say, turn the painting over, see that blank page, that's better than the actual painting. So you've made some mistakes as well in collecting, but that's part yeah, of the, yeah, yeah. Part of the mm -hmm. journey and the story as well, yeah. I suppose. Have you ever both sat down to put a paintbrush in hand? And I can't even draw a straight line. <laughs> so, no. I got the shapes. Yeah. And even, even with a ruler, I always get a boo. The finger gets to the road. You don't want to draw a straight line. That is a true story. I'm not bullshitting people. <laughs> well, look, I think you're awesome men who are collecting art. So thank you so much. That's good. Thank, thank it's you. It's lovely to chat. Yeah,